So I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Brow Stylus Pencil and I just do really light strokes going upward the direction that my hairs grow in. So these grow upward and these are just kind of to the side. Very light strokes so that it doesn't look too heavy. And I do the same thing on my left side. Fill in some sparse areas, not too heavy, though I love dark eyebrows. I don't have them and I don't want to, um, to change my face. You know, I just want to enhance. So, um, next I'm going to add this gorgeous um, eyeliner to my waterline. It's by NYX and it is pure gold. I am a little tanned right now, so I'm using pure gold. But normally, um, in the winter, I use Sparkle Nude. So, I apply it on the waterline. Because it's such a jumbo pencil, um, uh, it's hard to avoid getting it in the inner corner of my eyes. I can just dab it away if I want to. Um, anyhow, so to bring back shape to my eye, I'm going to use a brown eyeliner. I like to just apply it from the middle of my eyeball to the end. Um, I feel like it gives my eyebrow a really pretty shape like that. It gives it a kind of a almondy cat eye. Well, it enhances the shape of my eye already, but if I were to apply it all over my eyeball, I feel like it's more dramatic than I'm going for. Because I moisturize with oils, I, um, I can just clean up with the oil from my face. So if I want my cat eye to be um, shaped a certain way or the, the little flick at the end to um, my sister's calling me and I have to ignore her. Um, so if I want my flick to be shaped a certain way, I can manipulate it just by cleaning it with my finger. So that's just an easy trick. I've been doing it for years. I love this Hourglass Concealer because it matches my skin color. And it matches me when I'm tanned and when I am uh, not tanned. I put a little bit under here, just in the inner corners because that's where shadow is created and um, that's where I feel like I need it. I sometimes um, put some around my mouth and around my nose but I don't think I'm going to do that today. So I'm going to do a blurry lip but I do use lip liner even though I'm going to do a blurry lip to avoid um, it looking messy. You know there's a fine line there between a blur and a messy look and um, the lip liner helps. So this is Rimmel in Indian Pink and it's one of my favorite pinks. It is a really pretty pink for olive skin and um, different shades of olive. To help my lipstick um, to last longer or to leave a stain after it wears off, I'm going to use the lip liner to smear all over my lips. I feel like I could leave it like this and it looks pretty enough, but I'm going to go over it with... Um, with a lipstick that I made at Bite Beauty Lab in New York City. I named this one August 21st, 821, um, because that's the day of my birthday and this was a birthday treat to myself. I made two. I made a cherry one and one that's more of a brown nude. Um, I'll show that in a future video. For now, I'm just gonna put it on and smear it and oh okay that's right i'm going to take a little bit of lipstick from my lips and um use it as a blusher a very very light hand a little dab a little dab there and the apples of my cheek and i use a clean finger to smear it and i don't really follow any direction i just kind of go left right up down to make sure that it's uh, pretty seamless and there isn't like a actual circle on my cheeks so I am pretty much done. I am, I'm gonna just conceal these little spots that I have here um, because, because of chocolate. There, there, dab a little bit, and here. I think that looks really, really pretty. Um, I do sometimes groom my eyebrows with mascara. This is 100% pure mascara. It's all natural. I'm cleaning some of it off here. And I'm going to lightly brush. I need a mirror for this. I love this cute little mirror. Those two um, images 
are pictures that my niece drew and turned them into stickers for me. Um, this is Kaylee's right here and this is Leah's artwork. So I very lightly brush my eyebrow hairs and um, try not to get any on my skin. And I guess I'll end it there. That is it for the makeup. I'm going to a friend's art show and I gonna wear my new pumas the fancy rihanna pumas with the cleats and a little skirt leather well fake leather <laughs> green skirt and a silk blouse with a bunch of pretty um sunset colors 